Hey guys, I'm back. And today we are going to be talking about my ass. <laughs> be funny, but you know, seriously, we are going to be talking about my butt? Talking about my butt, my little nice butt that I got. No, seriously, I wasn't even going to do this video because you just want to know the 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 nosy parts like you know you don't you don't really care to know what i did i just want to know how it went and everything first of all let's just say number one i do not have a fat transfer because a lot of people want to know what i got shots bbl this and that and it's just like first of all if you think i can get a bbl <laughs> then you don't even know about surgery at all because i clearly have no fat anywhere look at these chicken arms where i'm taking the fat from for that process, you need to take fat from your body and put it to another part of your body. And I don't have fat on my body. So I have to do something called shots. Shots is like, it's not good for you. A lot of people say it's not good for you. Well, it isn't good for you. Unless it's like those shots that they do with the um with your own fat. What is it? They be doing some, not with your own fat. They be doing some shots with like blood and they put it in your butt. That doesn't work anyways, but... That's the only legal shots that's really out here, but I'm not talking about those shots. I'm not talking about those shots, I'm talking about the, the illegal shots. The the shots that make your butt go bing bing, you know? But no, seriously, before I even start the video, I'm just gonna give you a little look at my butt. So, I have black. I don't have a lot of stuff on my pants right now, but this is my butt. This is my butt, y'all. You see? Can't really see because I have black on, but <laughs> okay whatever besides that everyone want to know what is it exactly that i injected you know so now that i just cut y'all off and let y'all know it's not fat transfer it's not none of that i don't know why i think i can get that but i have shots and a lot of people want to know what is it that i have injected and the process and how it works i am going to tell you a little bit of info but i'm not going to tell you all the details because it's kind of personal and it's like so number one what i have injected is hydrogel and Y'all can start looking up on your phones, Googling it and shit. You'll see bad effects and all that, but I haven't had any problems. And yeah, so that's what I got right now. I started doing it, I think when I was, I'm 24 now. I think I started doing it when I was 21. When I was 21, I got the plug. I got the plug from one of my friends, you know? Cause one of my friends, she has a nice body and I was like, I wanna do my body, blah, blah. I didn't know anything about surgery. I didn't know nothing. I was like, I'm gonna do a fat transfer. She's like, you can't do a fat transfer cause you don't have any fat, you know? So basically you need fat to transfer from anywhere. You can have, you don't have to have fat exactly in your stomach. You can have fat behind your arms, your neck, like anywhere you just feel like it's a lot of fat. You just wanna take it from there. You can do that. But I don't have fat anywhere basically. And I had to do the shots and the shots, she told me it was like, you know, it's dangerous, but if you really wanna do it, I can give you the number and you can go or whatever a lot of girls do it nothing happens but you know it's not really the most thing i recommend and i was just thirsty i just wanted a butt so i'm like yeah let me just let me just do the shots because that's my only option and i'm skinny so that's what i'm gonna have to do basically and it's just so funny because when i was younger i was about like 18 19 and my friend she was like i'm gonna do some shots blah blah i was like hell no don't ever do that like it's bad for you and then when i got older i went and did it and i'm just thinking like i said i would never do this but here i am doing it and I did it and it wasn't as bad as people make it seem like oh you're going to some scary basement or something like that i'm not going to tell you all the details but it's not how people make it seem it's not you know some people have this shit set up night a lot of people who um will like tell you to come to a hotel or something like that those people i would not go to because you can't track them down and you you know you can't trace them so i don't really trust people like that so you know other people do it in a more comfortable way people who's just like offering you like to a hotel and stuff like that it's kind of scary and that's not the type of people I deal with, so. So those probably where the um, horror stories start with people like that, from my opinion. Yeah, when I first went to go do it, I was with my sister, Ella, and I was so scared on my way. I was like, oh my God, what if I die? What if this, like, I'm, I was just scared, but I was more excited than scared, so I was still going to do it even if I was scared. I just had already had my, me my mind made up, so I was like, I'm doing this. Like, I'm scared, but I'm doing this. Lips are really dry right now. But yeah, okay, I don't have no makeup, I'm looking crazy. So yeah, um, when I went to do it, I had to like lay down or whatever. 
and I got marked up and a little numbed, but that, that doesn't really work. It doesn't numb you, you still feel everything. So let's just talk about the feeling. The feeling is not like so much painful. It's more like pressure and a weird feeling for me. It's just like uncomfortable. That's really what it is. It just feels like something thick pushing in and like pushing your fat out the way. Instead of like, I don't know. I don't know how something would feel coming out of your ass, but I know something going in, it just feels so weird. You just feel something pushing its way in and pushing your fat out the way and just like make room like you feel it going in little by little. Like, but it's, it, does, it doesn't hurt. It's just like a funny feeling, you know, weird. It feels like someone's putting fat in your ass, like pushing fat through, like pushing it in your butt. That's what it feels like. And just pressure. So I did my butt and my hips and when I did my, I did my hips first because I did a small amount and I wanted to see how it comes out. So I went and I did a small amount first and a lot of people, the highest they do is a thousand, just like the most so you can see how it comes out. I, I went, I did 800. So with 800, I went and I did my hips and when I do my hips, it kind of like spread it to the top of my butt. So my hips was out and the top of my butt was out. So I was like, okay, I should go back for more and like fill it in more like the cheek, the actual cheek and the bottom so it could be round. So that's what I did. I went back like two more times and did that and then finished off my butt. It wasn't a bad experience really. It was more so like, I don't know how to explain it. It was more excitement for me because I was just happy. It made me feel more confident. Like before I had the square hips and I had the hip dips and now I have like, you know, I look really nice in a swimsuit, sit out in a swimsuit. And a lot of girls be asking me like, you know, what did you do, this and that? I'm skinny like you, I did shots, I'm skinny. If you're skinny, that's the only thing we can do. And it's not for people to do, like I don't recommend it for people, it's not safe and it's not legal. But for skinny girls, that's the only thing that a lot of skinny girls do. They go and get shots. Like a lot of skinny girls I know, they have shots. So that's our only option. If not, we just gotta have a baby girl. We are gonna have to wait for some fat to come in and then we can do a fat transfer. I know a lot of people who had the shots for a minute and they haven't had no complications, no problems. I haven't had no complications or no problems. Um, the only funny feelings that I get is like when I sit on my butt for a period of time, it just, it just feels weird after a while. Like it feels uncomfortable. Like I just stand up like, cause when I sit in it for too long, it just annoys me. And sometimes I get like a cramp in my actual butt cheek, but I don't know. A lot of people be saying after a while, like they're not good for you and stuff. Like your body starts to reject it or something like that. So yeah, I don't know. I hope I'm just like, you know, good and it just stay good forever. Cause I ain't got time for shit like that, but yeah. It's just something that I did when I was young and it makes my body look nice and I like the look. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend it to people because it's not safe. Everybody body is not the same. Everybody body react different. A lot of people did silicone shots. I feel like silicone shots is more scarier than the gel shots because silicone, I heard it travels through your body and a whole bunch of crazy stuff. In total, I don't know um, how many times I went because the first time I went three times and then I started drinking a pita mint and I gained a little bit of weight. And when I see myself gain a little bit of weight, I went and I did some hips, so just to make myself look a little bit more wider on the top and a little more thicker because when you do your hips, it does make you look thicker. It brings you out at the top. So when you sit, it spreads and you look a little thick, you know? Even though I got chicken legs, I still look slim thick, so. Haters. But yeah, that's basically it. That's the story and that's what I have. And hopefully I gain some weight one day so I can get a fat transfer because a fat transfer is what my sister got and that's much safer, that's legal, a doctor's doing it. The people who do the shots, they're not doctors, you know? They're just probably people who've just been doing it for a long time, you know, so. And they just know what they're doing, but no one is a doctor when it comes to the shots like hydrogel, silicone, and stuff like that. You cannot be a doctor for that, that's illegal. So yeah, a lot of people be asking me like, did you, what, did you go to a doctor, this and that? No, it's not legal, so.
anyways yeah i've had it for a while now and i haven't had any complications like i said just only little funny feelings and stuff here and there i feel like before when i didn't have a butt i was never able to twerk now that i have like something in my butt i'm able to twerk because i have you know an ass now so it moves before i literally didn't have anything to move so that's why i was wondering why i couldn't twerk it was nothing to move now i have a cuff underneath my butt and when i twerk it moves and everything and yeah also when i first did it when i stood up i felt my butt like a little heavier like i felt like a little weight on me like in the back it just made your makes your butt a little heavy like you know you feel the heaviness you feel it there and when you do it, it goes up the same day. You like get wrapped up or whatever for 24 hours. You can't take nothing off. And then the next day you can take everything off and you can just like look at yourself and you can see it. And you'll just like see your results and stuff like that. But it shows right away. Like once you're doing it, it shows right away. Cause a lot of people's always asking me like, um, when you did it, did it show right away? This and that, yeah. But another thing is when you are very thick, see how I went and did 800, when you're very thick, uh, you can't do small amounts like that. You have to do a big amount so you can get a big result. You know, I'm skinny, so I can put a small amount and it'll show on me. But someone thick, you know, you can't do small. I don't plan on going back to do more or whatever, but I only did it because I felt like I gained a little weight. So I just wanted to make my hips a little wider to make me look a little thicker on top. But yeah, besides that, a lot of people go multiple rounds. They just go until they feel like their butt is looking how they want it to look so yeah you don't have to keep doing it it's something that's up to you you know unless you're someone who go and get your hips done and then you just have hips or you already have a butt and you just do hips people do stuff like that but besides that shots is not something that you have to keep doing to keep up with honestly people do it on their own i don't know why girls keep going and going and going it's crazy but and i'm not one of them girls okay Y'all be thinking, I be looking crazy out here like an ant. I look perfectly normal. It's just the angles and stuff, you know. Don't you think my family members and my friends would have told me like I look crazy? I don't know how y'all think I be looking in person, but. Yeah, mine goes perfectly fine on my weight. It looks fine. I did the perfect amount and I'm good for now. And basically, that's it, guys. That's all I can tell you about it. My experience and I don't recommend it to people, okay? Don't go trying to run and do it because everybody body react different, okay? Okay? So, I'm out, guys. As you can see, I'm very sleepy. I just finished watching a movie. It is currently 3.13 in the morning. It's always late when I do my videos, honestly. But, okay, yeah. I'm out, guys. They copy in my style, copy on Roger that. Over. Copy on Benny Hanna, Bitch, I've been a donna. He's screaming my government. Oh, oh,